so I've got like a few videos I have not released, uh, made public on YouTube. It's still sitting in my storage memory or whatever you want to say. I have qu actually quite a few, but I'm going to like condense a couple things down to this one video. The main point of this is the way you look at yourself in reality. I can promise you this, if you, if you are stuck, suffering, or feeling miserable in reality, it's directly linked to the way you look at, at reality, yourself mainly, but reality as well. So I, I made a video of quite a while ago saying pretty much in essence, fear is the root cause of all suffering. And that is not true. Fear is not the root cause of all suffering because fear is, a, is an illusion of the minds, of the human mind's creation. So I really thought about this and tried to come at this on, a, on the deepest level possible. And the root cause of all suffering is being lost. And what I mean by being lost is when you are not at home and home is just when you are in love with yourself like you are one with yourself in reality so that is the root cause of all suffering if you think that it's different i'm open to suggestions because that is something i'm very interested in but that is the conclusion i've came to in my experience thus far is that is the cause of all suffering and then the human mind creates issues that are not there. It will look for things. I've tested this out too. And this is something I've had to stay on top of is my life is at a good place right now. Like I'm in a good place every way you look at life pretty much. And I noticed that I hit a low point last week or something like that. And as a couple days went on it was like there's nothing wrong but my mind is looking for something to be wrong and it's insanity so then i had to flip the way i was looking at things again like just tune it just a little bit that's what you need to do tune the way you look at things because you have to see this see through the illusion of something being wrong then you have to go at what you can fix about yourself because the majority of things that you, again, feel to, deem to be wrong is the way you're looking at yourself. The things you're telling yourself, the way you're looking at reality, what you're paying attention to in reality, what you're focusing on. So, perspective is the greatest gift or tool that you can use. So, it is your perspective. That is, the, I'm not saying there are not things wrong with, with reality, the way it is currently functioning. Because there are huge issues in it. But, but what I'm really telling you is, pull it back a little to here, and most problems will go away. So, and here's the messed up part. A lot of the things you feel to be unjust, unfair, or cruel in the world has never affected you you never never affected you it's just it's just almost like it's content out there to for one keep you in an illusion for two to make you grateful and thankful for you not having to deal with this and for three to cast some shadow onto the world i mean it's there for specific reasons but you never had to deal with it. So, just realize these things. Because your mind will constantly look for things to be wrong. And the best way to tune this and fix this is to fix the way you talk to yourself. The way you look at yourself. For you to love yourself. For you to have a homecoming. To have an open heart and a freed mind. That is the way. So, I just want to mention that here. And another thing is um, politics, the government. We need to get over this whole separation 
this whole divide, the politics, race. Notice this all goes back to media. Notice this all goes back to elites and things like this. So, what I am telling you is the government and politics in general is corrupted. It is a criminal organization, a legal criminal organization, that it is very simple to program and control the human mind to argue, bicker about, because they know the buttons to push, and there is no they. This was set up and designed for this specific reason, but just in this story, go along with this. Um, so it does warm my heart. Sitting back and watching this all unfold now, it had to unfold this way. Every single bit of it had to unfold the way it's unfolding. Um, so the number one thing was COVID. Push COVID out here, get people to stay in their homes and deal with their selves. Starting to wake up, right? And then the government doing this tyrannical Nazi Germany shit they're pulling is, again, a push at you to wake up. This is all storyline. It's beautiful. Just stand up. Keep waking up, going along with this. So, it warms my heart, warms my heart to hear, let's go, Brandon. It does, and I'm going to tell you why. Because we have people coming together that are of every color, every sexual orientation, any pronoun, uh, from different countries, from different political backgrounds, i.e. Democrat, Republican, that's chanting, let's go, Brandon. And let's go, Brandon equates to fuck Joe Biden, and it almost brings a tear to my eye, and I'm not joking either, like it does almost bring a tear to my eye, because dude, you're having 50,000 seat stadiums chanting fuck Joe Biden, or let's go Brandon, it's so beautiful, and I would be just as happy if it was Trump in there, and they were chanting this too, but this is the thing, this is why it all had to play out the way it played out. If you got, if you had Donald Trump in there as the president, dude, he wouldn't go along with this shit. Like, they would not be able to control this man to the extent they're controlling Joe Biden. So, what needed to happen, and what's going to have to happen, is secured with Joe Biden, because they can just push this weak-minded motherfucker around. And, and this is not any, I'm not coming at this from any position, because if you watch me, I don't fuck your politics and your government. That's the way I feel about it. But Trump wouldn't have let them do this. Like, Trump would have been like, no, we're not doing mandatory vaccines. No, we're not forcing masks. No, we're not shutting down pipelines and making gas go up to $4. No, we're not going to have hamburger meat be $10, $12 a pound. So, all this had to happen. The goddamn economy is going to crash. This is beautiful. This is what you want. You probably are sitting here listening to this and saying... I don't want the economy to crash. This is horrible. Yes, you do. You want the economy to crash. You want to have to restructure things. You don't want to keep going along with the shit show. So this couldn't... It had to have been Joe Biden. Had to have been. This wouldn't have worked with Trump. This wouldn't have worked with hardly anyone else, I don't believe. It's just so... It's so, like, parody. It's like, you can just sit back and look at this and be like, Oh, this was designed. This was part of a story... This is like parody and comedy at its finest mixed in with some drama. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. It's almost like a joke. This is something, I'm going to end this, but this is, it's almost, but yeah, let's go Brandon. Um, get rid of this Democrat and Republican bullshit and, you know, actually try to come together and help each other as a whole instead of just worrying about, well, what's in it for me and people like me and people like-minded like me. You see, it's a, it's a whole horrible trap. So we need to get rid of this shit. So yeah, let's go, Brent. Um, God dang it. I know I forgot what I was going to talk about. What I was getting ready to say. Dude, that sucks so bad. I have no clue. I guess I'll have to make another video if I remember this. And this is going to drive me crazy. So, just in this, yeah, I hope everyone has a happy holidays, a good Thanksgiving, find something to be thankful for. There's a lot to be thankful for, a whole lot to be thankful for. But uh, to end this, I just want you to notice that your mind will present things to you. 
to make it seem like something's wrong or something of this nature. And there is nothing wrong. Anything that you perceive to be wrong is 100% fixable. And the rest of it have belief and faith and trust that it's going to go exactly the way it needs to go because we're this we're this close. I mean, the fucking fingers are almost touching. We are this close to pulling off heaven on earth for a thousand fucking years. And this is not... Think I'm deluded. Think think I'm deluded. Think I'm crazy. Think I'm just pulling shit out of my ass. But you have zero clue how close we truly are. Zero clue. It's playing out perfectly. So, enjoy the ride, man. Women, children, for real. It's a game of forming the play of life. I'm you talking to you. And also flip that perspective. It's all perspective. You really need to grasp the perspective. Finger. And where it's pointing in the dial, the knob to turn it. It's, it's literally all perspective. And the perspective comes back to the way you talk to yourself. The stories you tell yourself about yourself in this place. And believing bullshit the world tells you. It's, it's, this was set up in such a way it's you. It is. You have to be willing to go against everything. You have to be willing for it to be you versus the world. Even though it's not you against the world. It's just you believing and trusting in yourself to see through the illusion. So, it's game of form in the play of life. I'm you talking to you. I have always and will always be you, you, talking to you, because that's all there is and that's what we do. We create illusions right here with backstories. We have experiences. We tell ourselves stories. We snap out of it. We wake up. We live. We return home, which is here, by the way, a homecoming. We open our heart, free our mind, and then we create, create. Because we created this. So now we must create again. We must create. We must be the creators creating within the creation. So we must, you see, we are the dreamer in the dream, dreaming. It's but mainly with this creator thing. Because this is something you fully have to realize. The, dr the thing that's operating the dream or the illusion cannot be outside of this dream or illusion. The dreamer or the magician or the creator has to be within the creation, the illusion, and the dream for this to work. So really understand what I'm telling you. You're, you're, you're creating and controlling this right now. Tap into it. Stand with the turtle. Free your mind. Cut all the unnecessary baggage and bullshit out. Stay in the moment. Cut ties with the past. Believe. Have faith. And create. I love you dearly and deeply. Get a mind of your own. Wake up.